This is a limited edition, only 100 ever confirmed to be made. Um, you can choose, as people were buying them, you could choose the edition number. So by the time I got to them, there are only two rings left. And I got to get the second to last one that will ever be made. It is edition number 53. And what it is, is it is the Dark Lord's ring. Um, and that means that it is built to the exact specs of the ring that was on Sauron's finger um, at the beginning in the prologue of the Lord of the Rings. And that ring, you can re if you remember right, there's the, the scene where Isildur picks it up and you can see it like shrink because it adapts to the wearer. And when it was Sauron, it was a huge ring that's about two inches in diameter. And that's what this ring is an exact replica of. So it comes in this nice box. Let's assume it opens this way. Inside the box, hopefully you've got enough light to see. But we've got edition 53, signed by Hafton Hansen, son of Jens Hansen. Nice packaging paper. Oh wow. Pictures just did not do this justice because just looking at a picture of a ring, it looks like a ring. That's a nice giant ring. Um, but this has a good size and weight to it. I'm glad to see that it was very well protected as well. Right, wow. And there it is. Oh my gosh. This is a, uh, wow, my fingerprints are on it already. It's cool to the touch. Wow. Now, that right there is the one ring. This is what the one ring looked like the only time it was ever actually used in its full power. And uh, anyway, when I saw that uh, there were only two left, I knew I would regret it if I didn't pick one up. And this is obviously not something <laughs> that I can wear daily. Uh, it's not even something I would put on a chain around my neck. It's just not quite the, uh, for daily wear. This is a limited edition display piece that hopefully someday I'll have a really nice place for it in maybe a man cave or something in a future house, but wow. I love the gold color. So one thing I know I mentioned with the other ring I was kind of upset that it had the interior markings. This ring does not have the Elvish script so it doesn't bother me as much plus it's limited edition and stamped with the edition number on here. We've got the 53 and then some of the unique information in there um, that identifies it as a limited edition. So I'm perfectly fine with that because look at how gorgeous this is. It's got a nice display box so this can be used Give you a look at how that is. Just incredible. <laughs> I, uh, I'm ecstatic. I cannot believe how big this is. I guess I should take the, the current one. This, uh, my current ring is size 10, which was the size that uh, was actually on Elijah Wood's finger as Frodo when he would put it on. Though the size he wore around his neck was actually a size 11, and it would change it down. So we've got the size 10 ring here, US sizes, and then I don't even know what size this would be. <laughs> uh, quite a big difference. Yeah. Incredible. You can kind of see how this is a much golder color. This also is um, gold plated because to have this much in solid gold uh, would be ridiculous. 
So this gold plating may wear over time, but I'm assuming I'm not going to be wearing this every day, so I'm not uh, not too worried about it. But yeah, you can kind of compare the color of a multiple year old ring that's been worn frequently to a brand new gold plated ring. All right, um, I don't know if I'll get around to posting this before the next, the very last edition of this has been sold, but if I do, uh, and you're seeing this now, go check out Jens Hansen's website. You, uh, you have one shot at this. Um, wow. Okay, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll try to answer. Thanks. I'm not a professional unboxer because I don't even know how to open a box.